Hi everybody, and today it's my great pleasure to introduce to you our captains, David and Saskia, and vice captains, uh, Alex and Isabel, who will be serving for, for 2025, but they actually step into the role at the, be at, uh, the beginning of term four in uh, 2024, because our current captains, actually we wanna be able to allow them to really be able to prepare for their HSC exams. I knew that you would love to be able to meet them, and I'm sure that you are going to be uh, praying for them and for their success. But let's take a minute to get to know them a little bit better. David, how long have you been at our school? Yeah, so I came to the school in year one around 10 years ago. Uh, my family had moved from South Africa just then and we were looking for a good Christian school to go to and settle here. Wonderful, and we're really glad that you did too. Saskia, what made you want to come and be uh, and apply for to being captain for this year? Yeah, um, I feel like I really had the urge to serve this school in more of an impactful and formal way. So it's really exciting that I get to do this now. Yeah, lovely. Okay, and Alex, when did, when did you come to our school? I came to school all the way back <laughs> in um, two-day prep. So I've been here almost 13 years. Oh wow, that's the whole journey along <laughs> yeah, the way, isn't it, yeah. as well? And uh, Isabel, is this your first leadership role in our school or what other leadership uh, journey have you been on with yeah, us? Yes, last year I was blessed to serve in the Student Leadership Council in year 11. And then early this term, I started leading at the Christian uh, group called Mustard. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, okay. And I guess um, there's lots of ways to describe the job and you've had obviously um, plenty of opportunities to be able to really think deeply about what it is and why you want to serve. And I've had a great pleasure of being able to be part of the interview process and, um, and some of the speeches heard those as well. So I know your heart for our school, for serving Jesus. And in your own words, if you could sum it up, What's the driving factor that really says, yep, this is why I want to serve in the captains and the vice captain roles at Covey? Yeah, I feel that the school has given so much to me and to my family that I feel God has put a calling on my life as well to serve and to give back. And so I want to glorify him through that. Yeah, wonderful. What about for you, Saskia? I think just wanting, uh, just wanting to be able to serve and also just being a role model to other students um, in a biblically grand way. Yeah, beautiful. Alex? Yeah, I think seeing all the people above me um, go through leadership, especially captaincy, yeah, that's been really inspiring to me and I really wanted to emulate that. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I just wanted to represent the entirety of the Covey community to stand up and just show God's love to everyone. Yeah, beautiful. Look, you'll have plenty of other opportunities to, to get to know um, these, these fine men and women um, as they serve in captains and vice captain roles. Uh, but can you continue please to be praying for our current captains and vice captains too as they finish off for the end of the term? But I think you'll agree that the school will be uh, moving from strength to strength uh, with you guys stepping up to take the mantle for student leadership. And, uh, and again, can you please be praying for them too as that they prepare for that. You've been part of a training day uh, today. Uh, there'll be other opportunities for that to be happening as well. And we do congratulate you and wish you all the very best. I know I'm looking forward to being able to work with you throughout 2025 as well. As for us uh, here, we also want to acknowledge um, right in the middle of musical and so lots of great things that are happening in our community. Can you continue to pray for that musical, both for the students that are part of it and the staff that have been doing all the practices and the rehearsals, that they will go well and stay healthy, but for that gospel message to actually be the driving factor, to be able to know the truth of Jesus will be just fantastic for every audience me me member to be blessed by the experience. That's our real heart of our prayer too. Have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you next week.